What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy with a new phone, taking a new video. I hope you're not doing well. My name is Tama Yeltsin Brookie, and welcome to another episode of Spill the Tea with me, the great T-E-M, the great Tabang Yeltsin Brookie. If you don't put the great before my beautiful name, then y'all know it is blasphemy. Now let's get the shindig, rindig, and doing in me, you know? So starting things off, man, Big Zulu has a track, a diss track named at every hip-hop artist Call 150 bars. He's spitting. He called Casper a fan. And yeah, Casper a fan. How are you saying hip hop on your fan? I was so happy as Casper's number one favorite hater. I was happy that he mentioned him. But yeah, man, Big Zulu has a track out called 150 bars. It is a diss track to all the rappers, hoping that people will come and respond. Hey, vibrate the hip hop game on them now. Because the hip hop game has stuck down a bit. But yeah, with that being said, Hopefully he does it. Uh, last week, if you may have saw DJs in the customer uh, uh, complained. Okay, a customer complained that DJ Zinkley's hair was not as it says it would be. And they went and did a review on TikTok and DJ Zinkley didn't like it. Posted something that people did not get along with. That people did not get along with. And recently released a statement saying that um, they have a customer service line where people can go and uh, speak about their grievances and what is going on um, with, when it comes to the hair. And now Musa Kaula has recently released that DJ Zintel just might not be the owner of um, him in Hair Majesty Group as the director of the name, the director on the name on under CIPC is not DJ Zintel. And when you register a company, I know because I registered King Scott Marketing, <laughs> when you register a company, the CIPC, on the CIPC site, the director is the person that owns the company. I am the owner of Kingscrop Marketing. On the directors, it says I own Kingscrop Marketing. So on the CIPC, when you search for Hey Majesty Group, it does not say DJ Zinkley. It says Johannes something. And now it makes you wonder, Jorge, what in the world is going on? Because the people that we're looking up to, like Chris Axel says, Chris Green Save. It's the company. So we are Yo! Guys can do we love ya. We what's going on? We in Montemo. If our owner not owning the companies that they say they own. This is in the Kupi Kupelo Wulel, the two Kupelo Wulel or Wilalang. Hi guys. Marna still, I'm I'm willing to become a public relations uh, practitioner for your company. I'm the greatest public relations practitioner to ever live. You just don't know it yet. If you wanna know us, Zodi, best fucking public relations practitioner, get out well like this way. <laughs> but yeah, man, it seems like she might not be the owner of Hair Majesty, which might be train smash. If that is true, I hope it's not. I really hope it's not. And then on the uh, on uh, the wife, I'm, I just may have forgotten his name, but one of the the, the characters, I think he's the one that was. Having the cough cough, no, 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 no. I'm not quite sure because I'm not a fan of the wife. I haven't watched the wife, guys. Please bear in mind with that. I haven't watched the wife. I can assure Mexico first of all. And then secondly, Gizela or the wife move on a thing. So I don't know if it's that guy who's acting as Flumu, but I think it is. Uh, according to Hopolo reports, um, he is leaving the wife cast. He's leaving the cast. He's no longer be part of the cast. Seems like a lot of actors within the wife as people are saying are having grievances because the producers have taken a route that seemingly is is based on not following the book. It's not following the book and people are not having that. So a lot of actors are leaving and they're still shooting season two. So people are wondering why is there still a season two when so many actors are leaving? And yeah, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't have the answers to that. But yeah, it is going to couple of reports that Shumu will, the person that's acting as Shumu will be leaving um, the, the wife. If it's not him, I will fix it on the description because, but yes, guys, Please, I'll post something. Kana ni ngan yo ni sangke ja sangke asmo radio mo 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 ki buasik is bua mo podcast aka or king YouTube channel aka yeah. But yeah, that's what happened on that part. Um, as you may have seen, Amokhelan Kali is releasing an album, uh, an EP, as well as Rastafari, uh, uh, together with K Wolf. They're also releasing a a a a a a an EP with with K Wolf. I can't wait for the ah. Yeah, K Wolf right there. So yeah, they're also releasing something. So watch that. Scoop that out. There's also going to be something beautiful. That's for Bosch people right there. Um, what else? Talked about Big Zulu. Talked about. Oh yeah, Makati was seen uh, when Makati was 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 at the 
what's this thing again? The Miss SA uh, 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 um, crowning. Makati was going to hug Ulona, Uzozibini Tunzi. And one of the guards was pushing Makati away. Makati was humbly going back. No, it's fine, it's fine. So people are saying that the reason that the, 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 the guard did that is because the judges are not supposed to have interference with anybody outside of 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 of, of other judges before the the, the, the ceremony but umam um, um, greeted umakazi and makazi greeted back so i don't know was the judge just there was the guard being some way to makazi or as makazi bani we don't know but yeah did that and it was what it is uh again according to hopolo reports i don't say is not wrecking up the numbers that it used to so even though there's TBC and there's JR and there's the, the retaining so easy, the numbers of idols are not doing as well as everybody would have thought. So it seems like they are going down. On another popular report update is that Umuvango now, Umuvango is no longer racking up the same numbers as it used to. So Umuvango's numbers have dropped once again drastically. Now, the one thing that I want to address the DJ Zodi High School Tour. The DJ Zodi High School Tour, guys. Talking to my roommate right now, ask them during this time, have they never had recreational activities? And he just said, artists used to come. People doing group cultural things used to come. But it was called on Sabone and it would be a recreational activity. The DJ Zodi tour happens every Friday. Well, not every Friday, but it happens on a Friday. Where if we have a school. And it is not only the DJ Zodi High School tour. There's also a DJ Zodi Foundation. The DJ Zodi Foundation is based on receiving shoes so that we can give to the less fortunate kids. Zodi is giving back to the community the only way he knows how, which is through DJ. And there is no activation on the Battle Lake event thing. There's no event being mentioned on Kadi Wani Kaya Kai Kai Otabona Zodi. We are not saying that. We are not even saying There's nothing like that being said. The only thing he does is he goes, drops a set for approximately 30 minutes to the students at a school. And that's it. The schools can decide even upon themselves if they want to. Or you know what? To raise funds. DJ Zoruyeza. We are going to say that on Friday, to raise funds for school. Schools could literally do that. But people were deciding, oh, no, instead of listening to what's happening, we are going to crucify. Some of you, I understand your logic. I do. I really do. I understand your logic. Your logic is based on Barnabas Kolo, Lili Maxitabon. And I understand. But most of you are not saying the right things. You're just saying, oh, Linto Yusa Manamo Janine. How? Because there's no alcohol being consumed on the DJ Zodi High School tours. There's no tickets being sold on the DJ Zodi High School tours. And maybe in South Africa, maybe, maybe in South Africa, or not even maybe, it is supposed to be a must. That now if you go to a club, an ID should be provided. But you don't want to take IDs with you. So, if you have something to say, please say it on the comment sections. Because I would really love to hear what you have to say. But don't crucify without knowing what's going on. That is all for this week's Spill the Tea. My name is Tabangang Sinipolo King. Don't you, oh wait, before I close it, um, on the 1st of October, we already have our first, uh, our first headliner, our first headliner for the 1st of October, the DJ Jody One Man Tour, is uh, a risk. There's more coming. There's more coming. Wait and see. There's more coming. 1st of October, DJ Zodi, has, uh, DJ Zodi One Man Show. Focus, uh, a risk has already been mentioned. He's the first headliner. You will see everything else as time comes. Place, man, needs a one. And then, uh, the crew from Spray Banger, lights again, got it three to September. I'll be your MC, right there, go at Trim Park. So pull through, come and enjoy with us, and let us have fun. My name is Taba Nelson and Puluke. To the community at large, I am the best motherfucking public relations practitioner in the goddamn world. You just don't know about it yet. It is a spill that's here with me, the great TDM. And I say, stay real, stay talking, and forever stay awesome. Yeah, mine.